Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the visitors as well, because I'm looking at this side mm. and I compare them to Manchester City, who are now top of the table. Yeah. Now, City have had players missing. One of their best players would be Kevin De Bruyne, mm -hmm. and he's only finally hitting his peak form now. Yeah. well into the season and he's talked about suffering from the effects from long COVID. They don't even have a striker, yet they have no issues. If someone goes missing, they seem to have enough depth in their squad. We're yes. looking at the Liverpool side here today and you're saying not having Van Dijk has had a huge impact. They might lose Mo Salah to the AFCON if it goes ahead as well. Yeah. Does that, when I say all this, does it put, I think Jurgen Klopp might be coming to join us right now. Okay. So I'm going to put this question right. on the back burner. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, just going to bring... Just two questions, did you say? Yeah, okay. Hi, uh, Jürgen. Hi, Jürgen. We'll have to ask you to, to stand by the mic, COVID <laughs> protocol. Um, you must be incredibly disappointed. Do you feel hard done by some of the decision making today? Um, yes, of course. I think it's, it's absolutely clear. We, um, the, 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 the draw is okay. I have to say, that's not my problem today, really. We were the better side in the first half, but anyway, 1-0 down, um, scored the equaliser, had a lot of possession, didn't create now awful lot of chances, I have to say, but um, we were dominant in a away game against a, a side who set up obviously 5-3-2, so I eight plus goalie defending and then shoot the ball as long as you can and then you have the two of the best strikers in the world just chasing these balls. So we struggled with this situation a little bit, we had a completely new midfield which is then not helpful because the, 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 the things are not settled. Yeah. Um, yeah, but of course, the, the, the squad is two, the second one conceded, the other one. I would say the result is fine, but three big decisions and three against us is really harsh. And I think yeah. it only got one right and it was the red card for Robbo, so you can give that. Robbo knows that as well. Um, but Harry Kane is a clear red card. I think we all agree on that because it's just, we cannot now say about, about the... Uh, he hits him on the ball, the leg is in the air. Imagine he's not in the air. It's exactly the same challenge. Harry cannot stop in that moment. It's not about he cannot stop it anymore. That's why you get red cards for these situations. And a penalty. Mm. Mr. Tierney told me he thought um, um, Diogo stopped on purpose. He wanted the penalty. And, uh, that's now really a very exclusive um, um, view. And he had the best position in the stadium. Mm. And it was eight yards away. But yeah, we cannot change that anymore. Jürgen, how um, how hard has it been at the moment with the the COVID issues and players missing out? You know, look like like Van Dijk, Fabinho, Henderson lost the spine on your side today. How difficult is that to deal with when Hendo obviously has, you're chasing? Hendo, Hendo has no COVID. Hendo has a cold. We have that as well, and it's still existing. So Hendo is the only one with symptoms, but he has a cold. <laughs> and the other four, um, yes, they have COVID. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's just tough. It's clear, but it's actually tough situations are, are normal in football. You have players injured. You have these kind of things. That's not my problem. You can, as long as we can play, we will play. But you should not. We have to make sure that there's not an advantage. So let me say a little bit like that. Tottenham looked in the second half fresher than us. Yeah. The whole team in quarantine, two weeks, no football, whatever. I don't know exactly how it was. Nobody tells you. I don't know when they started training again, but they didn't have games in two weeks we had a lot of games and we played with a reduced squad so we have to make sure that these things um, mm. stay clear yeah. so that, that we have all the same chances have all the same so um, situation and then I'm, I'm then I'm absolutely uh, for playing playing on but I don't know what is the right decision to be honest okay uh, do you, yeah, just sorry. a very quick one, Mark. So only to get back to the point about the about the uh, decision. First of all, Robertson's was a uh, yellow card and then red card. Did you get a chance to speak to the referee about why the VAR didn't come in and intervene on the yellow for for um, Harry no, Kane? Okay. No, no, no. I'm not sure he wants to speak to me. He, he, <laughs> I know, I'm yeah, sure yeah. he won't want to I will, speak to I will try, maybe. So, yeah, no, I had no chance to ask him that. Uh, or maybe I would have had a chance, but yeah. I didn't ask. After the game, they don't want to speak. Um, but is the rule still the same that you can speak to him a half an hour later? Exactly. That didn't I'm change. I'm sure you'll have a word with him. <laughs> yeah. Usually I don't have time for these kind of things. But um, yeah. Frustrating from inconsistencies. From a football point of view, it's a, the, the, so the, the red card, we don't even have to play football for. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's just a red card. Done. Yeah. 
But the, the but the, the penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Clear cut. But what do what do what do you talk about? Yeah. Why why that's really not okay that we let it happen that, that people so we are there for helping the ref. He doesn't mm. see he, he thinks something in this moment. Mm. And they hide behind the the, the phrase it's not clear and obvious. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean it's not clear and obvious? What's yeah. the, what do you want? Blood or whatever? I have really no idea yeah. what, what they need for yeah. making it clear and obvious. Perhaps. But this situation is, is really incredible. Absolutely. And again, I really think the draw is fine. Mm. If you would have drawn 3-3, three, three, then it's let it be. Yeah. But this situation is not right. And the other one, Harry Kane gets red card in the first half. We all know both teams were pretty much... Uh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> I don't say the word, but um, had struggled. So that would have been really hard for them. But the ref thought, let it go. Not the first time with us. Understood. OK, I'm getting to the side. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Jack. Thank you, yeah, Jürgen. That was um, interesting. Very yeah, honest Very well. honest, yeah. I'm telling you why. It's great. It's because it's Martin O'Neill here. Yeah. He, knows, he knows he can relate. Thank you for the question. I mean, okay. you can see the frustration, particularly yeah, when he's answering your question, absolutely. the frustration right yeah. there. You can see it. I just wanted to know whether the rules have changed in the light. Lots of things have changed, Adam, in the course of time. But I was wanting to know whether it was still, you know, the old half hour afterwards, you know, for people to cool down. Don't you worry. Mm. Uh, listen, before that referee gets into his car, Klopp will be knocking on his window <laughs> at some stage or other. Saying, Excuse me, wind down the window. Can you tell me yeah. why? You know, That's the way it is. Um, you know, he's hard. Dumb. You, you can tell. You can see in emotion. You know, you see so upset with the fact that the decisions, as he said, you know, send off, fine, no problem, but the, the penalty, stone wall, you know, and it is, and they're hiding, they are, they're hiding behind this, this clear and obvious situation, which is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, so, and because the referee doesn't give the penalty, mm -hmm. VAR feel inclined to not overrule the referee, yeah. but yeah. if they look at it, they go, yeah. hold on, it's clear and obvious, Absolutely. it's a penalty, it's, it's, you know, like the referee's got it wrong. Yeah. It's okay to make a mistake. And, and we go back to it and go, yeah. ref, you've got this one wrong. Yeah. It's a stone wall. Yeah. Come on. True, true. What about some of the uh, other remarks he gave? Like the question you followed up on, because it's kind of similar to my question, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, in, in terms of getting the injuries yeah. and players missing. Well, you didn't mention Manchester City, of course, but I mean, I'm going to ask it again. Are City favourites just because they seem to be able to adapt better? Well, yeah, I mean, look, they've got the squad and they've got a team and it kind of looks like whoever steps into Man City's team, just they always sort of play the same. I think, you know, I think the, the problem uh, Jurgen Klopp's had is, is that he lost the spine of his side today, you know, losing Van Dijk. Fabino, Henderson, you know, that's that's the spine of your team. And it's difficult to, you know, anyone who's gonna lose that sort of them sort of players are gonna struggle. But I think that it was interesting to see where he talked about the advantage of Spurs not having a game for two weeks, being behind with games. You know, it is that you kind of lose that sort of when there's a game and you know the games are all on every week, you know it's like well, we've played 16, we're here, we've played 17, we're here, everyone's, you know, but when all of a sudden Spurs have played 15. You know, Liverpool plays 17 and you're all over the place. One team's been playing, one team hasn't. You do, it loses that kind of momentum and that feel of, right, OK, we're going up against Tottenham today. They played in midweek. Mm. They played last weekend. So it's fair. So I think that's the issue with managers now where they're finding that the Premier League, I think, need to get on top of and make a decision on, you know, to make sure that we're all kind of keeping in track of where, because what we don't want is... You know, teams would have to play four or five games yeah. late on in the season just to catch up. Yeah, yeah. It must be frustrating for a manager as well. I know you, <coughs> you haven't managed during this this COVID period of games getting postponed the way they are right now yeah. with uncertainty, yeah. but still frustration. You can't plan anything, can you? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, you start going on runs and and let's say league cups and FA cups, for instance. Even forget about uh, about the pandemic. Then you and suddenly you lose league matches along the way, and you're sh trying to shovel in a two or three games in a week. I remember at Aston Villa one time we'd been uh, the final of the League Cup, semi-final of the FA Cup, and we had we were trying to fit in three extra games, and we we're trying to you know trying to finish in the top six, and, that, and we had a game away at Hull where we had a bit of an argument with people at Hull to see wh whether we could fit this one in. And it was really difficult. So you can imagine now that like Burnley have missed out games, you know, and, and, and uh, Tottenham are today. I'm sure they'll be absolutely delighted to have got the game on for a start, never mind anything else. But overall, yeah, it becomes a problem, Adam, because you, every game you're playing in this league, whether you're going for the title, whether you're going for Europe, or whether you're trying to avoid relegation, is massively big. The big points, you can't turn, you know, if you drop three points in the game and don't play for a fortnight, that next game becomes so important to you. 